Hi guys and welcome to episode 2 of how to make a Roblox rig series. In today's episode we'll be learning how to add the bones to this model so we can actually rig it. So let's get started. So first thing I do when I add bones is I go to front view and what we're going to do is we're going to go right here to the base and we're going to do shift A to add. Or you can just go to add right here and make sure this is in object mode and add an armature. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the object data properties for the bone and go to viewport display and I'm going to turn on in front so we can see it through there. You can also use wireframe but I'm just going to use this as, just so you can learn some more stuff. In fact actually I'm going to use wireframe now so we can see which edges we need to go to. So go into edit mode to edit the bone and it really just works like this. This is a head of the bone and this is the tail. And to add a bone that's connected to the other bone, just select either the head or the tail and just press E to extrude and you have one. So it's very easy. As you can see, it's literally how bones work and you can keep going wherever you want. It's super fun. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move this bone right up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to move the head to this edge right here. So the first of the three edges that we created. Make sure the tail is at the is at the base edge, but not the very, very base edge, just this one. So the one under this one right here. Then off of the head of that bone, just extrude up, all the way up. And make sure it ends here at the top of the torso and extrude again for the head. And you can end wherever you want here. I just end around here. Doesn't really matter. And now to add the arms, what we're going to do is we're going to go and select the head of the torso bone. And we're just going to go and extrude to the right and end at the center of this edge right here. Make sure it's not this edge. Make sure it's this edge. In fact, I'm going to use annotations. So not this one, this one. And now with the head of this bone, just extrude down and end here at the middle of the arms at this edge right here. And what we're going to do is extrude down again all the way here. So that wasn't too hard, was it? Uh, now we're going to delete this bone right here. And there we are, done. Now make sure that you did this at the left arm, not the right arm. And make sure you don't do it again at the right arm. Don't do that, because I know that my experimental self would go and do that whilst watching a tutorial. Do not. There's a much easier way to do that. And I'm going to show you that once we're done doing the legs and renaming all the bones. So now with the legs, just select the tail of this bone right here. And move it down to here again. Extrude down. And extrude down again. Make sure the placement is just like this. Now you will see there's no line like this. There's no dotted line that shows there's a relation between these two on this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down shift, select this bone and select this bone last and press control P and click on keep offset in the pop up that appears. So now let's just prepare the bones for IK, which will be for later on in the series. So for the leg bones, just move this joint right here, which connects this bone and that bone. So right here, and just move it forward a little bit. It doesn't need to be fully moved forward. I think that's good enough. So around there. If you're not going to be doing the IK part, then you don't even need to do that. You can just fully skip that. For the arm, we're going to do the exact same thing, except it's going to be backwards. So just like this, back. And there we are. So now let's add the actual bones that we're going to be using for the IK. So what we're going to do is on the tail of the arm bone, and in fact for the leg bone too, we're going to be doing both of these, and just extrude down like this. If you're wondering how I'm doing this on a perfect axis, what I'm doing is moving it down so it's visible that I'm trying to move it down, pressing middle mouse button on my mouse, and it just does it in a perfect axis. So it's really cool actually, and just move it down to about here, it doesn't matter. And what we're going to do is we're going to go right here, hold down shift and select both the joints that connect the IK bone and the actual normal forward kinematics bones. That's what it's called, IK and FK. So this is IK that we're building, F FK is what we just built. And so those joints right here that we just selected, just extrude to the right like this. So that's good. And what we're going to do is we're going to select both the bones that we just created and we're going to press on Alt P on our keyboard and click on clear parent and the pop up that appears. And now we're going to do is just select by holding down on shift both of the bones that are facing to the right 
and move them even more to the right. So they're away from the arms and the legs. And maybe even move them up. I mean, it's not entirely necessary, but for ease of use, yeah, go ahead and do it. Now we're going to go and quickly make another bone for the torso. So right here, just select this joint connecting both this bone and that bone. And just extrude down. Make sure the head goes perfectly into the tail of the first bone that we created right here. So I'm calling this this and that bone. It is quite hard to follow on, and that's because I haven't named them yet. So let's go and do that. So this will be our lower torso bone. So to do this, all I'm pressing is just pressing F2 on my keyboard and uh, just typing in lower torso. You don't need to add spaces or anything. In fact, you don't even need it to be uh, with capitals. I'm just putting it in because why not? And for this bone that we just created, we're going to call this hip. This is our upper torso, right here. This is our head bone. This is our upper arm. And what we're going to need to do is just make Blender aware that these bones are for the left part of the arms and legs. So what we need to do is just name them something like upper arm dot L. So because of that L it, at the end, it's going to think, oh yeah, that's a, that's a left bone, not a right bone. So uh, for future reference, left bone. And you can literally just call it left upper arm if you want. Uh, that works too. So I'm going to call it that actually. I'm going to make it more complicated for myself. And this is our left lower arm. As you can see, we are talking in terms of R15. We do call this the upper arm and the lower arm in R15. Uh, you might notice that in Roblox Studio. And this is our IK target. So this we're going to call arm IK dot L. And we're going to call this left. So what we're going to call this is left arm IK. And this left arm pole. Pole, we're, we're going to have to discuss that when we actually set up the IK. But for now, uh, we, we're just going to leave that on a cliffhanger. Just call it pole. And this is the left upper leg. So we're just going to call it that. This is the left lower leg. This is the left leg IK. And this is the left leg pole. So now we're going to do is select the leg pole bone and hold down on shift and select the leg IK bone. Press control P and click on keep offset in the uh, pop up that appears. So now if we move this around, you can see the pole follows it. I'm going to do the same for the arms, just like that. Control P, keep offset. Done. Now you will see that the IK doesn't follow, and that is exactly what is meant to happen. So if you think that that isn't what is meant to happen, you have done it completely right, and you're just doubting yourself. Now one thing that isn't right is the fact that our hip is not making the legs move. It's the lower torso. So we need the hip to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into edit mode, and what we're going to do is select the upper leg, and we're going to press Alt P on the keyboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on clear parent in a pop up that appears. And we're going to change it to the hip bone. So hold down on shift and just select the hip bone. Control P, keep off set. The reason why we're not putting in connected is because then it will connect the bones together, which is not what we want uh, unless you want a really broken rig. So yeah, the whole left part of the rig works. It's very good. I like it. And uh, yeah, now we need to do is make the right part of the model. So what we're going to do is just go right here into front mode, go into edit mode and box select everything that is on the left. So just like this, make sure it's all everything on the left and just right click and click on symmetrize. So now everything works. It's amazing. We've got fully working, well not a fully working yet, but we've got somewhat prepared bones and saving on that project that is the end of this episode thank you for watching i will see you in the next one bye